You ever sit around with an old prospector, listening to him spin a tale that just intrigues you so much that you'll do anything to try and find it? Well, here is a tale of just such an adventure. So stay tuned and watch this episode of CGT Prospecting Adventures. Sit back and enjoy. All right, this is kind of hard to see, but I was talking to an old timer about this culvert. And apparently, the old timers in the 80s, a lot of debris right here, we're gonna clean this up. But what they did, this is really cool. Well, we got people's food down here. Somebody else has been in here. But uh, look what they did. These old timers put this big old grizzly down in this culvert. Now I heard tell that the first time they cleaned this out, they got three and a half, almost four ounces of gold. So, I've got a project here, because we got, first off, we got this big pile right there to clean up, and the trash. It's like a couple of Ziploc bags in here, what are they? Food, candy, drugs, who knows. We'll take the trash out. But look at this. Got broken glass. This is packed in here. In fact, this one is lifted up about four inches. Five inches, we got a lot of pack right here. Oh my gosh. Now this grizzly here, that's up almost a foot. We have so much work here. I'm gonna bring five gallon buckets here. I'm gonna take all the material and probably take it to the spot where I can set up my high banker and sluice and run it. But this is packed in. What they did, they concreted the outsides, as you can see, to give it weight. This one's lifted up. This has got a lot of, a lot of material in here. We're gonna have fun. We got a project. All right, this is te test pan number one. Only one flake. It's a nice flake. It's not like micro gold, but I was really hoping to see like you know 20, 40 of those in there. That was just the first spot I dug in there, so we'll keep digging. I mean okie dokie so and that first little clip you've seen the first test pan that's right here Oops. here's the big pile of debris coming in this is the first uh, grizzly they got in here I was digging back underneath there just kind of Back under here. Trying to see what's under the first edge. Okay, test pan number two. Exact same location here. That's where you find stuff. Probably one more in there. I'm gonna take it down to the water. And we'll try and see if maybe we get more than just one flake. Don't have a tripod. Actually, when I went up to get the spot, to look at a waterfall kayaking across the river, I got poison oak, and that's when I dropped my phone. It was on the tripod and it broke it. So we're just hanging in here. Uh, we're just hanging in here, you guys. Uh, chilling out. 
inside here. Um, just got a few tools. I've got a bunch of buckets up top in there that uh, in the truck. So if one of these spots actually show up having really good gold in it, I'm gonna probably maybe take a little through here. If not, just definitely right there where that's raised up. And then the very last one too, I'll check there. So I'll do a couple test pans at each one of these places here and just see uh, what we get. So, hey guys, welcome to CGT Prospect and Adventures. I hope you're enjoying this little rock flipping adventure inside this culvert with us. Um, I'm having fun, I got high hopes. Kind of dashed on that first pan, but uh, let's see what happens on this next pan, all right? So I would take this with me with you down the thing here, but I would just wind up dropping the phone. I don't want to do that. Another thousand dollar phone I just had to buy. So one of these days I'll learn, uh, get a laptop and use my GoPros. Got two of those even. All right, guys. I'm gonna go take a walk and head that way. That way. Well, I don't know how excited I am. There's one there, two, three, four, but not really anything else. I see four micro poos in this one second pan. So I don't know. I'm gonna get the metal detector out. And I'm gonna metal detect the bottom of the bottom of the culvert where it drops out. It does drop into a load of bedrock. So I'm gonna check this bedrock out right here. See what I can find. I'll walk up there and show you some video here. I don't know how well it's gonna shine show up. Sun's getting pretty low in the horizon here. Out here doing a couple test pans. It's been a busy day, busy week. I see one. I see one nice one. And one, two, three, four, a couple micros, five. I'll have to re-tap it up because I kind of swirled it around here with one hand, but. Right there is what we got. There's a couple of ones right there. Nothing to write home about. This uh, culvert doesn't look like it's going to pay out as good as my yellow bar. So let's see how she goes. All right, something else I'm really noticing. Uh, there's no black sands in this like there should be. So I'm going to go over here to the bedrock and uh, do a test pan over here just to see. I got a feeling somebody else has actually probably cleaned that sluice out or that uh, grizzly out pretty good there. Um, using a vacuum, kind of, the more I dug around in there and looked around, it just kind of looked like somebody might have used the vacuum in there. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to metal detect a little, and I'll do a pan over here where this debris is on top of the bedrock. All right, well this culvert comes down here, and it goes that way through there. As you can see, it's tailing out right onto bedrock. Some of it's flowing down this way. We got some horizontal tracks going across. Looks like they've been cleaned out. Uh, water does get up this high. You can see all the flow sand here. This all definitely goes under water right here. But uh, I think I'm gonna get the metal detector. And, uh, pretty good pile of debris here tailings come down out of the culvert, work their way down, so somebody's obviously dug this hole out, we might just continue it a little bit, and we're just going to go get the Gold Monster 1000, see what we can find down here. Now the more I look at this, somebody's used a vacuum in here. I didn't get hardly any black sands out of here. Um, I got gold, just not very much. So I went to the bottom, my metal detector didn't find anything down there. Um, in fact, definitely more black sand on the bedrock than I found in here. A lot of iron, didn't do any good to metal detect this when I had it in my pan down there, after grabbing a sample. Just little pieces of iron off the grizzly. So, I'm gonna get out of this thing. I'm not gonna know if, I don't know if I'm gonna spend too much time on it. 
Maybe we'll check it out again here. Started to classify something here, but wasn't seeing what I was liking, so. Off to the next adventure. All right, well, you can see I've got the half inch classifier here. I'm gonna start out with uh, bucket number one. I've got all my buckets labeled. Start out bucket number one right here on the pile at the entrance. And then bucket number two and three are right there. I'm going to do one here. Actually, I've got it right there, but I'm going to do another one right here. I've got a couple buckets down that way. Right out through there. And I'm going to just come through. Fill these up as fast as I can. Get them classified with this. And then uh, I'll take them back home. My friends were at well, the campground where I'm staying and taking care of. Uh, Got access to water right there. I can set up my recycling pump, all that stuff, and use the Keen Mini Max High Banker and just run through all this. I'm gonna once it's classified to quarter or half inch here, I'm gonna wet classify it down to quarter inch just to help break up this clay. There's a lot of there's a lot of clay in here. Um, it's just. Uh, I think it'll be wise to, to classify it down, uh, wet classify it, just to help break it up a little bit better. So it'll run through the sluice better than the little mini high banker. So got my little snap on light up there, shining the way. And I'm going to get busy here and see how many little specks of gold we can get out of each five gallon bucket. Uh, so far, I'm starting to think that it's just another mining story and hey, Everybody loves a tail, right? Well, you never know until you prospect it, so let's go find out. This is what I uh, scooped up right here the other night when I was here, and then I decided not to, so I'm gonna take it right away. That's pretty packed on the bottom there, so um, I've got hopes as whatever's stuck right to the culvert might actually be good. Now, whatever doesn't get through here, I'm just going to toss in this other bucket. Well, I'm close enough right now. It's going to get thrown out there in the front. I just want to have new tailings to, there's some rock there to stop when the winter time comes if there's actually anything here. I want everything to slow down, so that's my process. Let's see how she does. All right, bucket number two, first grizzly. Now, I did take uh, some material in the first uh, first bucket first bucket was made up about half of the big pile here and then filled up the other half uh, just reaching underneath this thing and trying to break it up from underneath and the rocks on top can kind of fall through I'm gonna get busy. All right, bucket number three is coming out where the second grizzly is lifted about a foot off the bottom. You can see how high that is by that classifier. There's some of our material right there. Now, like I say, I've not seen a lot of black sands in any of this, so doing all this might be just a waste of time, but it's called prospecting. Found this cool bracket. He used to hold the grizzly inside of the culvert. I think I'll take that and put it in my collection. Well, as we can see, 
this has been cleaned down pretty good. Somebody came through here and uh, really got down in there. I don't think that's nature. I think somebody did a lot of cleaning through this last section here, even though it's raised up almost a foot, or the third section. The fourth section down here, or fourth, the third, final one, that's three, one, two, three, this one here. It's just sitting there pretty good as it goes on out. Um, I'm going to dig it out. I'll go ahead and get one bucket from here. Bucket number four from the third one. One, two, three, four. Worked our way from the front. Two buckets combined from the first pile here and the beginning of that first grizzly. Another one from the second grizzly. And one last fourth bucket from the third grizzly. I'll take them home. Run them through the Keen Mini Max High Banker. I'll classify them down first from the half inch down to quarter inch. And then run them, uh, wet, then I'm going to wet classify down from half to quarter. So it'll run smooth through the Keen. I'll say one thing about the Arbor classifier. You can take about quarter to a third little five gallon bucket of material and drop it in there. Sorry for the zoom and close up, but hey. Quarter inch mesh. You can see it uh, works really well. If you haven't tried one of these, they're worth the money. This is on bucket number two. All right, I started with bucket number four, the one that came out of the end of the culvert, the far end. Right now, I know there's one piece of gold. You can't see it in camera because it's in a shadow in the mat here. Who knows? We'll find out. On to bucket number three, working our way from the bottom to the top of that culvert. Well, I got no idea what's going on with my battery. My pump could be getting some silt in it down there, so I'm gonna pull it out and look, but my water was running really jacked up slow. I don't fall in here. I've got that tied to it. Yeah, it looks like I was picking some silt up in there. Oh, sorry, you guys. But I got holes in the bucket, so we can just drop that back out there. Um, but I lost my power, it seems like, so. Two buckets through here. Started at the bottom of the sluice, bucket four. Just got done with bucket three. That right there is definitely a piece of gold. All right, there's another one. There's a few in there, I'm gonna throw it in the pan right here, so. Let's see what happens if we can get this come out easily no, it's not wanting to it seems to be packed in there pretty good Ugh, shoot oops well let's see what happens here well, that sure cleans easy but I know we left a little bit in there. Uh, I'm gonna dry my hand, try not to mess the phone up here. I'm gonna try to hold on to the camera and everything. Oh yeah, I see a couple of pieces in there. Let's uh, take a walk over here. Whoa. 
go where we can pan this out a little. I saw some pieces in there. Sorry guys. Right there, two or three, four pieces in there. Alright. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Let's see here. We'll just do a swirl here. I hate swirling. Oh yeah, we got some pieces in there. Not a lot to write home about. I'd love to have all that in one pan, not two buckets. But uh, we'll suck that up and keep going. I just got to go get another battery. I think mine is dead. So uh, stay tuned. Well, it sure doesn't take long here. Here it is, 1 o'clock, 10 minutes after 1. And I'm totally in the shadows here. And it's going to stay that way all the way until the evening. So it's going to get really dark here or dull here to see stuff. But I do have my sluice high banker cleaned up. Let's see what we got here. I'll just go over this way. Maybe I can find a spot here to set my phone up and video me. So give me a second here and I'll redo this. Well, my battery died on me. Oh shit, nerve floats. Uh, my battery died. My, so I only got two of the buckets ran. Where'd that piece of gold go floating to? There it goes. And we threw it down. Anyways, and that one's floating and that one's floating. I'll have to suck those up, but man, very disappointing. Two buckets ran and that's all I got. That's bogus. So, I need to go buy another battery, run the last few buckets, and I'm going to add all this together to it, but I am not really stoked. I don't think I'll be spending too much time worrying about that culvert. I don't know, it's pretty dark today, it's supposed to rain. This is the second day. Right now I am doing bucket number two. This came from the top section of the culvert. I've still got one more bucket over here, and that is also from the top section. The very first scoop I dropped out, right there you guys. Oops, I almost took my finger in there. That piece has been there from the very first scoop. Then I got that piece, and where are you at? Um, right in the middle there. So uh, I can visibly see those three. I've slowed my water down a lot more than I ran it yesterday. Um, still trying to figure this thing out, but I've got that much material to run. Got better hopes now for that culvert. Let's see what we get. Oh, well, I'm actually seeing some gold locked up at the top ripple there. Uh, a little more down here. The one big piece I had in the corner kind of moved, I think. It might be buried still in the corner there. There's not much light to see, but I've got some down here in the bottom too. So my first bucket's done. The, set, or the bucket number two is finished. That came strictly, the bucket number two right here, that came strictly out from underneath the top of the first grizzly. Half of this bucket here came from the top grizzly and the dirt pile in the beginning. So let's see what it has also. There we go, there's a nice piece starting to show up right there. I see a couple across there actually. So. Let's see what we get. That little grizzly in there is all plugged up, that rip uh, fan of metal. I really wanted to stop a little while ago, but I don't have that much left. I'm just relying on the miracle mat being a miracle if it catches anything in there. It's done its job at the top a little bit. Let's get these gravels off of this little classifier. Since I'm going down to quarter inch, it makes it nicer. Kind of drops it less than quarter inch going through there. I 
Okay guys, I'm going to do this left-handed here. It's going to be kind of hard, one-handed, try to reveal this. This is out of the top mat, two buckets. I'm starting to see some color there. I'm not disappointed. But we got some little pieces in there. Not too shabby. Two buckets, last two buckets. Looks like the top of the, uh, oh, there we go, gold floating right there. You see it, guys? Uh, looks like the top of the sluice is a place to work if I'm going to work any of it. Or the sluice, the uh, culvert. So I've got to make that one little piece stop floating. Hold on. Don't drop the phone in there. Yeah, I hope it didn't stick to my finger. So uh, I'm going to suck that up, put it in the bottle and uh, clean up the rest. All right, here we go here. Let's see what we got. This is all two pans here, all the mats, all three of them out of the Mini Max High Banker. Nothing, nothing, lots of iron pieces. That helicopter's loud. There's the gold showing up in the corner. Oh, there's a nice piece up there. Oh, there we go. We got some gold there. Might have a little weight to it. Actually, those are some decent sized pieces. All right, I'm gonna clean that up. All right, there's our gold. Scale. Let's see. Point two seven. Not really. Oh, where's my micro lens? Macro lens. Let me do it. 0.27. All right, there you go, guys. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode of CGT Prospect and Adventures. I hope you guys had a rock flipping time with us. A great time with us. Um, just don't know if this is really going to be worth going in there. You see a lot of dark stuff in there. That is actually rust on gold. I might actually take this little bit and put it in some uh, erratic acid let it uh, eat some of the rust off of it uh, or just throw it in a vial and call it all good and then when I melt all that down with my new kelm yeah we got we got a new toy we got a kelm coming so we're already here so we can get rid of all that impurities and make a nice little button just need to get the mold all right you guys until our next adventure take care and we'll see you on the next one